Hi everyone, welcome to Healthy Cooking with Stacy and Steph. My name is Stacy, and today we're going to be cooking salmon. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil in here. Might have poured about a quarter cup, maybe. And let's see. Mix in some lemon with this. Some nice lemon flavor olive oil. Next up, I am going to make my little breath. Alright, since I can't find my little brush, I'll just mix this up here. And I'm going to sprinkle this on the fish. First, I'm going to take them and make little slices down the fish so that it don't curl up while we're cooking. My fish is a bit frozen in here, but maybe I should have a sharper knife. There we go. Now you make these slices so that when this fish is cooking, it doesn't curl up on you and cook unevenly. Alright, I'm going to turn on my pan here. Turn this on medium high. Spice up our fish a little bit. Okay. Alright. As you can see, we've got the slices in it now. A little bit too frozen to be pulling it apart so you can see it. But, but they are apart. I'm going to take some of my olive oil. Lemon, and I pour it in my pan. I'm just going to pour a little bit on my fish, right down inside the cracks. I'm going to put a little bit of salt down in there. Try and get the salt in the cracks. Here I've got some pink Himalayan salt. Just going to dash a little bit in there. Let's see if I can't get it in the cracks here. Yeah. Throw in some garlic. Get a little bit more in this pan. There we go. See, we get some in our pan. We're gonna throw in some garlic along with that. And just before this mixture starts to smoke, we are going to uh, put our fish in here. We will add a little bit more lemon sauce. 
lemon flavoring. So we're going to add a little bit of rosemary to my fish. surface there. cooking, you're going to see this fish cooking from the bottom up, and when it turns color, it's about three quarters of the way up the fish, then we will flip it and let it cook the rest of the way. Add a little more salt here to the inside of the fish, a little bit more rosemary to this side. counter I have some uh, vegetables broccoli and cauliflower that are steaming right now so I have fish potato and steamed vegetables take another piece of lemon take the seeds out Out of it. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this on here. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to throw the rest of it on top for now. Okay. Now, while that's cooking, I'm also going to slice up some of these uh, green onion tops that I have here. Got some of my mess here. Let 
that cook. We might just have to take a little break while it's cooked. This should only take roughly about 15 minutes. But, uh, yeah. We'll take a little break, we'll let this cook, and we'll be back. Okay, we're back. That's been long enough. And now we're, uh, our fish has changed colors on the way up. What we're going to do now is we're just going to flip this over. Give this a few more minutes. Oh, we made it. It's quite dark and crispy. We've got a crispy salmon here. Very nice. Put some more of that lemon on there. It there. And here we go. We get some nice crispy salmon. We'll give that a few more minutes. Just a little bit on the other side. Turn the pan down. We'll Put the fish right in that oil to cook on the sides a little bit. Oh yeah. Go. I'll start throwing everything else in my plate here. Okay, and our sandwich should be just about done. Well, it takes about 15 minutes all the way through, and this sandwich is cooked perfect. Take a look at this. Oh, there we go. go we have our salmon grilled very good some uh, steamed vegetables celery broccoli cauliflower and our baked potato we'll probably drizzle a little bit of uh, organic butter in there mm. all right well thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe we'll be cooking other things here pretty soon stay tuned bye